Hi everyone, Cody here. Now, if you'll remember, I switched cars. I'm currently driving that little blue truck over there, which means I probably won't be using my little white car for some time. Especially in the winter because it doesn't go anywhere in the winter. <laughs> which is why I'm driving the truck. Anyway, so I've been uh, working on it a little bit, making sure it can be stored for a while. I've already drained the fuel lines and stuff, you know. Look on YouTube, you'll find ways to winterize a car. One thing I have not seen people do is work on the battery. Now the battery is something that I am somewhat of an expert at. See, uh, as long as that battery's got a little bit of charge, you know the battery's good. It means the battery's still charged and it'd probably start the car. But it wouldn't do that for long. After sitting here for about three months, that battery would be stone dead and that no amount of charging would ever recover it. You see batteries, especially lead acid batteries, they discharge on their own. I mean the plates are just separated by paper and fiberglass. There's really no physical separation so the electrolyte can actually diffuse ions between the plates and the battery will discharge. Now they made them really good. Car batteries are really good but they still lose about 1% of their charge per day. So after about 100 days they're going to be completely dead. Anyway, I've already loosened the connections so I should be able to just pop this out of here just like that. Can yank the battery, clean it off a little bit. And I'm gonna go put it on charge to make sure it's fully charged. All right, it's actually the next day. I went ahead and let the uh, batteries charge basically all night long. And turn that off. Unhook the charger. Now normally they say they need to store the batteries in a charged state. This is because as batteries discharge. It produces uh, sulfate crystals on the electrodes. If it stays in a, a discharged state for too long, those crystals can actually form a plate or a shell which completely coats the electrode and uh, no amount of charging will uh, dis dislodge that. And basically it'll kill the battery if you let it go dead completely. That's why running a battery dead, completely dead, will either make the battery unusable in the future or significantly reduce its capacity. And so what you want to do is keep the battery in a charged state, like maybe put a trickle charger on it, keep it charged up. But I find the easiest way for me to, I'll get that later, the easiest way for me to uh, store the batteries is to actually eliminate the possibility of a chemical reaction happening by removing one of the reactants. Now I can't remove the lead, but I can remove the acid. See here? I'm dumping the acid out of the battery. With no acid, and no electrolyte, the chemical reactions cannot possibly take place. And so if I get all the acid out of it, this battery will remain in a charged state until I put that acid back. Basically what you have is a le spongy lead and lead oxide on the electrodes, and both of those chemicals are completely stable in air it'll never discharge as, as long as they're not electrically connected through the electrolyte. Now uh, after this drips for a little while I'm gonna go ahead and use some uh, distilled water and wash the remainder of the acid out of the battery. That time the battery will be completely inactive. I can store it for as long as I like. Uh, my dad actually will uh, put the battery back on charge once the acid's all washed out. That uh, supposedly dries out the cells but I don't see any difference when I do it. Okay, so I've rinsed the battery three times with distilled water. I'm just letting it drain out for a final time now. I might recommend doing this on a slightly warmer day because my distilled water was actually freezing inside the battery and I might end up having to take this into a warmer area and let the uh, ice melt, but uh, you guys get the idea. Anyway, I'm going to take the acid here, the electrolyte, which is a uh, Kind of brown in color due to suspended uh, lead oxide particles. I'm going to go ahead and pour this into a one gallon plastic jug. I got the uh, acid into the jug, and here's the battery. Got it all rinsed out, cleaned up. Now, uh, I didn't actually do a very good job, and so it's still got a little bit of a charge, like when I, when I arc it out. But, if this battery actually had acid in there, with this kind of charge, this wire would have turned bright red almost immediately. So, its uh, capacity is much lowered, and even if it does run completely dead at this stage, the uh, layer of sulfate is going to be very thin because most of the sulfate is right here. Anyway, so 
So I'm going to go ahead and go put this into storage. There we are. What better place than right back in the car? This way, uh, in a couple of years when I want to get this car moving again, I'll just put the battery in there, fill up the electrolyte, and go. Couldn't be simpler. That battery will last forever like that. So, that's, uh, that's the process. That's what I do to my batteries. I hope you guys learned something. I'll see you next time.